Hi, I'm Phil Clendenin with Yamaha, and I'm here at Pianos and Stuff to show you the new Mo XF6. It also comes in the Mo XF8 88 weighted keys. Now, the Mo series is the little brother to the Motif line, and being the little brother, it is um, half the weight, and um, it makes it very easy to move to the gig. The Mo X F6 here is 15 pounds and its bigger brother the 88 key is just 32 pounds so these are very movable and um, easy to go to the gig and what we've done is now expand the Moex so that it, it has 128 notes of polyphony and it is totally compatible with waveforms from the Motif XF series. The F is for flash and that's the big deal here. The big deal about uh, flash is that it staves off obsolescence. We're always looking for new sounds. As keyboard players, everybody's looking for new, new sounds because they, they feel like a new instrument will give them um, inspiration. We understand that at Yamaha. And that's what flash is really all about. On board the Mo XF, you get over uh, 740 megabytes worth of wave ROM. That's some 3,977 waveforms. Maybe you didn't hear me. 3,977 waveforms. My first synthesizer had just two, sawtooth and a pulse wave. 3,977. You can build voices from these. The flashboard will allow you to add 2,048 of your own waveforms. These can be loaded in from a USB stick directly to the flashboard. Now, you want to get in touch with the people here at Pianos and Stuff and find out about rebates that are available so that you can get a free flashboard direct from Yamaha. All right, so flash is the big deal. The Moex and its sound set is well known. It is on stage and on tour with many, many, many different acts. All of the sounds of the Motif are here and ready to play. So I'm going to take you through some of them and show you some of the key features and benefits that you can have from using this particular keyboard and how to get around. So one of the first things um, at Yamaha we're very well known for our pianos and piano is very important to keyboard players. So you get the full concert grand, that same one that you find in the top of the line motif. But now it's all about pianos. So at Yamaha, we give you more than just one piano. Uh, in fact, uh, since the Motif came out in 2001, each of the Motif series had a different piano. Some of them became uh, very popular and became favorites of different keyboard players. So the original Motif had the Power Grand piano. known because it can cut through a band. If you're playing with guitar players and drummers and so forth, you need a piano that has a lot of guts. The Power Grand. Now, how do we get the Power Grand in here? I have that loaded onto my flash board. Because remember, flash staves off obsolescence. It allows you to load in sounds. So any sound that can be loaded into the top of the line Motif XF can be loaded into your Mo XF. This is very, very, very cool. All right, so we had others that love the jazz piano. And from the S90ES, I've loaded in also the S700 piano. This became very popular, S90ES. a non-explosive sound. Why more than one piano? Because pianos are very different for different occasions. Maybe you have a solo piece, maybe you're playing with a band. If you're playing with crunch guitars, you want a different piano than if you're playing with strings. So you can have all of the pianos loaded in. 
free for download from usa.yamaha.com. If you go to the download area for uh, music production, you can find free sounds for the Mo XF. Electric pianos is another area, of course, that keyboard players are very interested in. So um, we've sampled all of the history of the Tyne piano, the Rhodes, from its uh, inception in the uh, early, late 60s uh, through its completion. So you have a 1971, 73, a 75, a 78, the Dynomy Rhodes. So you can build all different kinds of road sounds. <laughs> Across the world, it's here. The DX seven. things that's great on board the Mo XF is the effect processing. Yamaha has uh, as a leader in digital mixing consoles uh, and they, these are on tour with everybody the world over. These effects have trickled down from our digital mixing consoles, the virtual circuitry modeling effects. These are physical models of classic gear. So in the 1970s and 80s, and I'm a, from that generation that remembers, um, we didn't know we were doing anything classic, but these are now classic effects. And these have been physically modeled, and that means mathematically accurate. We have taken the resistors and capacitors of those devices and physically modeled their behavior. So we can reconstruct exactly how those effect processors sounded. So VCM effects is a big part of what goes on inside of the Mo XF. <laughs> have your clavinet, of course you have your Hammond organ. Now one of the nice things that you have on board, um, you have eight knobs times three rows of buttons. So you have 24 real-time parameters that you can apply to any sound. By hitting both of the uh, function buttons together here, these now become volume controls. So on an organ, for example, I can use these as if they were the draw bars. So I can change the relative volumes of each of the tones. And one of the things you'll appreciate is Yamaha's attention to detail. Uh, we build many of these instruments. Yamaha is the world's largest manufacturer of musical instruments. Nobody is even close. And um, the attention to detail. We know what these instruments sound like, we know what they do, and their behavior is very important. So take a Hammond organ. If you hit it and quit it, you get the percussion. But if you play legato, you do not. And of course, your rotating speaker effect is on your mod wheel. So 
you can build a cathedral. The effect processing is equaled by no other synthesizer. So you can see I can reach and get a harmonic. These are what's called assignable function buttons. Assignable function buttons allow you to switch which oscillator is playing. So on the Moex F, you have eight oscillators per voice. Eight oscillators per voice. All right. My first synthesizer had just two. <laughs> All right. We've come a long way. And what these oscillators allow you to do is basically switch the timbre or how the sound is behaving. Rather than just layer them to make a big sound, you can do that, but I can switch to different behaviors, and this allows me to express myself on these sounds. So here I can get that guitar uh, fingers uh, um, pitch scoop by using velocity. So it's a lot of fun to play and express yourself. So here I'm using the articulation buttons to bring in different samples, different waveforms. So how you articulate, legato mode, I can get a different attack if I hit and quit, but if I play legato, so the keyboard allows you to speak and express yourself. solo violin. Now we sample the violins with the natural vibrato of the player. If you'd like to remove that, that's another job for the assignable function button. And you can add your own vibrato. So again, bow strokes can be on there. So I can hit a chord, hold it. With articulation, I can switch now to the pizzicato. Right. Now one of the things you want to build large orchestral sound. Now in performance mode you can combine multiple sounds. And I'm going to take you through a little of the secrets in the Moex that make this a compelling instrument that is easy to use. So I'm going to go to voice mode and start with just a piano. So I'm going to go to category search, acoustic pianos, and I have my full concert grand piano. Now, creating a layer on the Moex F is very easy. You have what's called performance creator. I'm just going to hit the layer button and I've created a layer. It is just that easy. Now a lot happens when I hit the layer button. It took me from voice mode into performance mode 
and it selected the second sound and it called up strings. Now, why did we choose strings? Because 99 times out of 100, you ask a keyboard player what he would like to layer the piano with, it's strings. But it puts you in category search, so now you can choose any sound that you like. Maybe you want to layer it with brass. Or maybe you want to have a synth pad. Creating layers is just that quick and easy. Now, also splits. The only difference between a split and a layer is that you divide the keyboard. So, if I touch the split button, I have the piano across the keyboard, I touch the split button, it now puts a bass in my left hand, and the piano in my right hand. And it sets me on the page to select bases. So, I can also set the split point by simply holding the shift button, touching a key, that key now becomes the lowest note in the right hand. Easy and quick to get around on the Mo XF. So creating your own sound should not be rocket science. Now I never had to hit the edit button if you notice. Now for those of you who want to get deep into the architecture, <laughs> you're gonna love this. You have eight oscillators that you can individually control. You can control everything about them, how they behave. That means eight different filters. That means eight different envelopes. That means eight different pitch envelopes, filter envelopes. This is a very deep synthesizer in terms of sound creation. And what we looked at, and as the little brother of the motif, this is all about you creating your music. Whether you perform live or whether you're a composer, this is a compelling keyboard for you. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other sounds. Now, this is a performance. Now, I didn't mention, but this has arpeggiators. Now, in the past, arpeggiators were just fancy up, down, up and down, down and up, and random kind of uh, gestures on the keyboard. Yamaha has reinvented the arpeggio into a musically useful tool. So not only do we include um, oh, literally 7,000, over 7,900 arpeggios. Please don't try to hear them all. These are here for inspiration, all right? Well, we talk about uh, writing music and getting writer's block. You can dial up an arpeggio and see if it inspires you to write something, all right? And this is a wonderful thing. Now, you can combine up to four different arpeggios simultaneously. Right? And they can do different roles. Some could play drums. There are over 2,000 drum arpeggios. There are 1,300 bass arpeggios, 1,200 guitar arpeggios. So you can put together all kinds of music, and you can mix and match. This is the wonderful thing about the Mo XF. So here you hear a couple of arpeggios in action. So this is using a performance to combine several different things, all right? So it can jump start your composition. This was made up of a drum kit, a bass sound, obviously, the tenacious line, a wobbly sound. And, and basically, if I wanted to record this, it is as simple as hitting the record button. Now, if I don't know what I'm going to do, I would direct it to a song. Song starts at measure one and runs until I run out of energy playing. Pattern mode, however, allows me to record to a specific number of measures. Now I'm going to call up pattern here and I'm going to set this to four measures. And what I'm going to do is going to take the four parts that I'm playing and direct them to the first four tracks. Of course, I could direct it to uh, 5 through 8 or 9 through 12 or 13 through 16. But I'm going to use this as to jumpstart my composition. And under other here, I can have it start so that as soon as I touch a key, it begins to record. All right, so I'm just going to lay down four measures and have a basic groove going. Mm -hmm. 
and it punches me out. Now it writes the data to memory, it copies the sounds into the performance, into the pattern, and all I need to do now is push play. And it automatically will loop. So by recording four tracks, see I have my bass line and my drummer and a couple of things going on to start. Then I can add things like melodies and so forth. Um, so it jump starts your composition. Performance mode, this is something called direct performance record. And it allows you to record up to four sounds at once into the sequencer. Very powerful. All right, so now I, I like this kind of sound, but you know what? I really like to combine it with something else. All right. This is one of the things customizing all of the performances in your Mo XF are in user memory. What this means is they're there for you to customize. So I have this electric piano sound. Actually, it's a, a TX802. which was the first rack mount FM synthesizer. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take this and combine uh, some elements of that previous um, performance. So what I can do is copy. I can go into a job and hit copy. And what I'm going to do is copy from that previous uh, performance. Um, it was number 17. I'm going to copy the drums, which was in part one, and I'm going to place it now in part three of this performance. Enter. And I'm going to copy the bass from part two to part four. Now, the idea is that now I've combined these two different things. All right. And now I can tap tempo. So it's possible to combine not only voices into performances, but combine performances. And this is a powerful unit, all right? Just a quick idea of some of the things you can do. You always need one of those, just in case. You'll notice that there are synchronized tempo, synchronized delays. The effect processing, as I mentioned, is over the top, the best in the business. All right, so now a lot of people use these in, um, in church services and so forth and need to play multiple roles. As I mentioned, performances, you can have up to four sounds on the keyboard at once, and you can switch between them at any time. So I'm going to put on what's called performance control. And what this allows me to do is I can mute parts at will. So I have four parts layered here. Sometimes you need a big string sound. In part two, I have an organ. Big pipe organ. Part three, we have brass. Part four, a choir.
and of course you can combine any of these at the touch of a button. Now you can combine up to four sounds in a performance, but when you go to song or pattern mixing mode, you can combine up to 16. Now only keyboard players would ever want to combine 16 sounds because I guess our egos are just that big. <laughs> but four, you can control in real time, and that means you can assign effect processing and so forth. But if you want to build some wild zone sounds with 16 different sounds across the keyboard, that is also possible in what's called mixing mode. So, inspiration doing things with sounds. And I'll give you an idea of what can happen with the flashboard. The flashboard, as I mentioned, staves off obsolescence. It allows you to recreate your instrument. One, two. So these are samples that I have loaded from a USB stick directly to the flashboard. Three, four. It's sweet. Come on now. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, baby. He, he, Okay, you get the idea. Now, you can put these samples together and do all kinds of wonderful things. Now, I'll give you an idea of what you can do when you put these samples together with your musical creativity. Come up with ideas that nobody's done before. And that's what music is about. Have some fun. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> So now, coming with your MoXF, you get a free download of Cubase AI7. Now what that allows you to do, because um, not only is the MoXF a complete workstation by itself, but also when you connect it to your computer via a USB cable, included by the way, it becomes a much more powerful thing. Because in the world of computer recording now, you have a built-in audio and MIDI interface. Now, let me say that again. It has its own built-in audio and MIDI interface. It's a four-in, two-out um, audio interface, plus it does MIDI. There's an A to D input on the back. It will handle either a mono or a stereo input. That can be routed through the MoX using the effect processing and onto the computer. So it's a dual stereo output. So what that means is you have a separate output. If you sing and play, you can record your vocals discreetly to one track and you're playing to another simultaneously. So you can assign different parts to the different outputs. It's very powerful. It's its own MIDI interface, which allows, of course, you to sync together. Of course, you, with uh, Cubase, you can write out charts uh, from your playing and so forth. But also, let's say you have a friend come over and play guitar or sing, or maybe you build up background vocals. You can then export those as WAV files, download them to your MoXF, and take the magic of the studio to your gig. Think about that now. Everything that you do at home in your studio can go to the stage with you as a sample. 
Waveforms are not just about playing voices. They can be vocals. They can be guitar solos. And remember, the flashboards come in 512 megabytes or one full gigabyte. A gigabyte is over 100 minutes of audio and stereo. So think about it. You can take lots and lots of sounds with you to the stage. All right, so that's a quick brief look at the Mo XF, one of the most powerful workstations, now at a friendly weight and a real friendly price. See the people at Pianos and Stuff.